in waters off Korea's southwestern coast at the site of the Soho ferry accident. Search operations are now well into its 10th day. Not a single survivor has been found since the ferry capsized last Wednesday morning. But there is no let up in search efforts, with authorities deciding to use a diving bell at this site for the first time earlier this Friday. This afternoon, for the latest, we now go live to our Song Ji Sun at Ping Mo Kang Harbor, the nearest point of land to the accident site. Ji Sun? Guys, it's past 10 p.m. Korea time. But the search operations are ongoing here around the clock, despite the strong wind and the currents getting stronger by the minute. Five more female bodies of Tanwon High School students have been recovered this Friday, raising the death toll to 185 and reducing the number missing to 117. Divers focused their search on the fourth level of the ship, where the cabins of most Tanwon High School students were located. A diving bell, a chamber that can be used as a base and transportation of divers underwater, has arrived at the accident site and is on standby to be deployed. This will help to increase the number of divers engaged in search operations and would enable them to stay under the water for up to an hour without interruption. We'll have more details on that status in our later newscast. Despite the deployment of full manpower and equipment, it is becoming tougher to recover bodies compared to previous days. One, because of the current getting stronger again, and two, because of the obstacles within the ferry, like broken furniture and the cargo. Besides the fact that the divers now have to expand their search in areas on the left side of the ferry, which is now touching the bottom of the sea. As for lifting the ferry, five cranes are on standby. The search operation will go on as parents of the missing have requested that the ferry not be lifted out of water until every body is recovered. Now, Jisan, my understanding is that search efforts were revved up following demands by those parents who are still anxiously, anxiously waiting at the port there. Kanyang, this all out effort is following requests of angry and desperate parents who showed distrust and claimed the government to serve, uh, rev up their efforts to find the bodies of their children. They have sat down with the maritime minister and the chief commissioner of the Coast Guard Thursday overnight for seven hours, making their requests heard. More civilian dives were brought back into operation as the parents have requested. Also, after a handful of bodies were misidentified, some transported back and forth Jindu and Ansan, authorities have expedited DNA matching tests, and parents are notified of the result within 24 hours since the bodies were recovered and brought back on shore. The government is also providing military helicopters for tra transferring the bodies at the family's request. Several parents also got to bars to witness search operations at the accident site this Friday. This has been Song Jisan reporting live from Tengokang Harbor in Sindu.